135 facts about the 135 Hoenn Pokemon. Oh, and by the way, I heard it was impossible to click the subscribe button with your phone upside down. So if you want to try it out, let me know and see if it works. It's free and helps out the channel a ton. And with that said, here we go. Trico. There is an old Trico in the Pokemon anime, which really doesn't make that much sense. Grovile. Natasha's Grovile from the Pokemon anime taught Ash's Trico Bullet Seed by using Watermelon Seeds, which might be a glimpse of how move tutors teach Pokemon new moves in the video games. Sceptile. Mega Sceptile launches his tail when attacking the opposing Pokemon, just like a real-life lizard would do. Torchic. Male Torchics have a black dot on their butt, which, if you didn't know, is a reference to the selective breeding that Japanese farmers did back in the early 1900s, because during that time, it was impossible to tell the difference between a male chick and a female chick. Combuskin. After 15 whole years, Combuskin's shiny form was changed back to its original red feathers. Blaziken. Blaziken was planned to look like a hybrid between Latios and itself, and supposedly the trainer was intended to fly on his back, like you see in Oras. Mudkip. In the Pokemon anime, giant mudkips exist, because apparently the giant ones stay at their nest to protect the newly hatched mudkips, which is kind of strange, because you would expect the Swampers to take that role. Marsh Stomp. Marsh Stomp looks like a psychopath, and even the official Pokemon Twitter has acknowledged this, which is pretty funny. Swampert. Believe it or not, Swampert is capable of doing 566 million damage. And if you want to know how, check out this video I did like four years ago after this one. Hoochiana. Hoochiana has only appeared as a regular wild encounter in the Hoenn games, because in the other games that it appears in, it is only encounterable through a special encounter, with the two methods being a Poke Radar and a Swarm Encounter. Maniana. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, Ruby's Maniana is named Nana, and also his cast form is named Popo, which might be a reference to the Ice Climbers, because they are named Nana and Popo as well. Zigzagoon. In Pokemon Emerald, you literally cannot lose to the Zigzagoon that chases Professor Birch, because when your HP gets low enough, it'll just run away. Lanoon. According to his Pokedex entry, Lanoon always runs full speed and only in straight lines while making right angle turns, which explains why Lanoon and Pokemon Sword and Shield run in such an odd manner. Wurmple. Wurmple's evolution is completely random because it relies entirely on a hidden personality value, so the player can't influence it in any way. Silcoon. As seen in this Pokemon card, Silcoon uses Silk to web itself in trees while it's awaiting its evolution. Beautify. According to his Pokedex entry, aggressive Beautiflies stab their prey with its long, narrow mouth to drain its prey's fluids, which is, uh, kind of scary. Cascoon. Cascoon will not move, even when it's attacked, and since it doesn't forget the pain that it endures, it will seek out those who hurt it when it evolves into Dustox. So, better not mess with the Cascoon. Dustox. Prior to Galarian Slowbro and Slow King, Dustox was the only poison type Pokemon that could get poisoned without the corrosion ability. Because if Cascoon, a pure bug type Pokemon, evolved while being poisoned, the Dustox would retain its poisoning. Lotad. According to his Pokedex entry, Lotad is known for fairing small Pokemon. So it's basically the mini Lapras for pawns. Lombre. Lombre's name and manner in Chinese literally translates to Lotus Hat Lad. Ludicolo. Whenever Ludicolo hears festive music, every cell in his body is stimulated and filled with energy, basically making it more powerful. Which explains why Mirror B in Pokemon Coliseum has such a festive sounding theme. His team is full of Ludicolos. Seedot. Seedots use the top of their heads to attach themselves to tree branches in order to drain the moisture from the trees. And the more water they consume, the more glossier they become. Nuzleaf. Despite several Pokedex entries stating that Nuzleaf uses his leaf as a flute, Nuzleaf has never been able to learn the move Grass Whistle. Shiftry. Shiftry is based on the Tengu, which are Japanese mythological creatures who protect forests. And these creatures are said to be able to read people's minds, yet Shiftry in his pre-evolutions can't learn Mind Reader. Taylo. According to Taylo's Pokedex entry, Taylo dislikes cold seasons and migrates to lands in search of warmth. Yet, weirdly enough, in Pokemon Park, there is a Taylo in the Iceberg Zone. Swellow. In the Pokemon anime, Ash's Pikachu used Thunder on his Swellow to give it Thunder Armor. And as crazy as it sounds, this is probably a reference to Swellow's ability, Guts, because it probably got paralyzed from the Thunder and gained a 50% boost in its attack. Wingull. Wingull is the only Pokemon to appear in every regional Pokedex since its introduction to the Pokemon games. Plepper. In the Pokemon Journeys anime, a Plepper is used to deliver Pokemon from the Team Rocket headquarters to Jesse and James. It stores a machine known as the Rocket Prize Master that has a ton of Pokeballs in it. Ralts. The Ralts that Wally encounters actually has a chance of being shiny. And funny enough, this actually happened to the speedrunner Worcester during one of his Pokemon Emerald speedruns. Curlia. In the Pokemon anime episode, Do I Hear a Ralts? Meowth's Curlia disguise was blown by a Pokedex, because rather than identifying him as a Curlia, it identified Meowth as a Meowth. 
Gardevoir. Gardevoir can breed with Mug, as well as Weezing, Macargo, Swalot, and even a Palosan. Surskit. Surskit's name is Swedish literally translates to sour shit, because sir means sour and skit means shit. Mascarin. Ironically enough, Mascarin dislikes rain, even though it evolved from a water type and the word rain is in his name. Shroomish. This is what Shroomer's face looks like upside down. Breloom. Breloom can extend his arms, like literally, just like Elastic Girl. Slaykoth. Slaykoth is one of the only shiny Pokemon that Shane Seeker has from the Pokemon anime. And if you didn't know, Shane is a shiny hunter. Vigoroth. Vigoroth was the only Pokemon that wasn't able to enter the dream world due to his vital spirit ability, which prevents sleep. And as for the other Pokemon with Vile Spirit and Somnia, they were able to have an alternate ability, which Vigoroth didn't have. Slay King In the Pokemon Adventures manga, whenever Norman enters a double battle, he will usually choose a Slay King and a Spinda with Skill Swap, making his Slay King a pretty deadly Pokemon since the Spinda will Skill Swap the true one off. Nakata Since Nakata will evolve into two Pokemon at once, that means a Shiny Nakata will create two Shiny Pokemon, which seems like a great bang for your buck. Ninjas. Weirdly enough, Ninjas is one of the easiest Pokemon to capture in Pokemon Ranger, only requiring one loop. And Pokemon that also only require one loop are Pokemon like Magikarp, Rattata, Pichu, Goldeen, and even a Dot. So it's kind of weird to see Ninjas in this group of Pokemon. Shedinja. Shedinja can learn Rest, Substitute, and Final Gamut, even though it has only one HP. And for those who don't know, Final Gamut deals damage equal to the user's HP and then faints it, which is pretty hilarious. Wismer. Wismer has a butthole. I still could get over this fact. Loudred. Loudred also has a butthole. Like, what's going on with this, this evolution line? Exploud. Exploud doesn't have a butthole. Thank God. And also, according to his Pokedex entry, Exploud's were used as means of communication between distant cities. Which is pretty cool because this is a brand new Pokedex entry that debuted in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So it's like new information. Makahita. According to his Pokedex entry, Makahita practices his slaps by repeatedly slapping tree trunks. It has been known to get flung away after slapping an alone executor. Hariyama. For some odd reason, Hariyama has a higher catch rate than his pre-evolution Makahita, with its catch rate being 200, while its pre-evolution has a catch rate of 180. Azuril. Before the fairy typing was introduced, Azuril was just a normal type, which is interesting because it evolves into Meryl, which is a water type. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that it has no arms, so it, it can't swim. Nosepass. In Pokemon Go, Nosepass will always face north if the player runs away from it, referencing the fact that it's a compass Pokemon. Skitty. Skitty is the best Pokemon to use for Pokemon Red and Blue Mystery Dungeon speedrunning. And the reason why it's so good is because its ability, Normalize, makes all its moves stab. And also for the fact that it can learn Double Slap, Attract, and Tail Whip, which are all great moves for the mechanics in the game. Delcaddy. Delcaddy and his pre-evolution Skitty are the only Pokemon that evolve with a Moonstone that actually can't be caught by a Moon Ball. Because in the game that they're in, the Moon Ball doesn't exist. And in the game that they're not in, the Moon Ball is present. Sableye. According to his Pokedex entry, Sableye eats gemstones as food, with his favorite meal being the Pokemon Carbine. Which is ironic, because Carbine is a fairy type, which is Sableye's only weakness. Maywile. Mega Maywile has the highest effective attack stat of any Pokemon, with a maximum of 678, which is essentially its base stat of 105 multiplied by its huge power ability. Aeron. This is what Aeron sounds like in the Pokemon anime. Laron. Laron looks shockingly similar to Rhyhorn. It's almost as if they're distant cousins or something. Agron. Even though Agron weighs 800 pounds and is a steel rock type Pokemon, it can learn Surf. Meditite. Even though the ability Huge Power exists, Meditite and its evolution Medicham have their own unique ability, Pure Power, which does exactly the same thing. Medicham. Medicham has some dummy thick thighs. Electrike. If you use a metal brush to groom an Electrike, it will give you a massive shock. Manetric. Manetric is based on the mythological creature Reiju, which is an elemental that takes the shape of various mammals, including a blue wolf wrapped in white and yellow lightning. Plusle. Plusle and his counterpart Minin are part of the Forbidden Seven from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And the Forbidden Seven are believed to be seven unused characters that were planned to be fighters in the game. And Plusle and Minin were listed as Prime Mei, which is the beginning of the Japanese names. Minin. Minin is one of Harita's main Pokemon in the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Adventure manga. Volby. Volby's shiny form looks a lot like Illuminize. Illuminize. Illuminize and his counterpart Volby can actually produce eggs that hatch into one another when breeding with a Ditto. 
So an Illuminized breeding with a Ditto can have an egg that hatches to a Volbeat, and vice versa. Roselia. According to his Pokedex entry, Roselia that drink nutritionally rich spring water are said to reveal a rare coloration when they bloom, which might explain why Shiny and Roselia have different colored flowers. Gulpin. Even though it's not a water type, Gulpin is based on the Blobfish. And in the Pokemon anime, there was a Gulpin that used Water Gun, which is a move that you cannot usually learn. Swalot. Weirdly enough, Swalot and its pre-evolution Gulpin have a chance of holding a Big Pearl, which is an item that usually only appears on Shelter, Cloister, and Clam Pearl. Carvana. Carvana can chew through solid steel, which you can see happening in this Pokemon card. Sharpedo. At the 2002 Pokemon Festa, the player was given a Sharpedo as their starter Pokemon to test out the new game, which were Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire at the time. Whalmer. Whalmer is the only Generation 3 Pokemon that has an e-reader card, with the card being Ross's Whalmer. Whalord. Whalord is no longer the biggest Pokemon. It was surpassed by Eternatus by 5.5 meters, which technically makes Whalord's Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Pokedex entry false. Nummel. Nummel may be dumber than a Slowpoke, because according to his Pokedex entry, it states that it doesn't even notice when it gets hit. And when compared with Slowpoke, it takes Slowpoke 5 seconds to feel pain after it's attacked. So which is the dumber Pokemon? I'm not sure. Kimura. Just like Macargo, Kimura has an inner body temperature of 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is twice as hot as the sun. Torkoal. For some odd reason, there are two Torkoal cards that are fighting type. Spoink. Spoink is used as a spring loader knob in the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire pinball games. Grumpig. This Grumpig card do be vibing though. Spinda. There are 4.2 billion variations of Spinda, and if you got their shiny, that means there are 8.5 billion variations of Spinda. So if you haven't run into a horde of shiny Spinda with all the same pattern, you probably should play the lottery. Trapinch. Trapinch's Japanese name translates to Nutcracker. Vibrava. Vibrava's wings flap so fast that their vibrations can cause headaches, which you can see happens to Ash when Go is trying to capture one. Flygon. According to an interview with Ken Sugimori, Flygon was intended to have a mega evolution in Pokemon X and Y, but the idea was later scrapped due to him experiencing an artist block. Cacnea. Cacnea is one foot tall, yet weighs 113 pounds. Cacture. According to his Pokedex entry, after spending thousands of years in harsh deserts, Cacture's blood transforms into the same substance as sand. So it's basically the Sandman of Pokemon. Swablu. If you didn't notice, Swablu is not a dragon type, it is actually a normal flying type, which makes it the only normal type Pokemon that turns into a dragon typing through evolution. Altaria. This is what a wet Altaria looks like. Zangoose. In Pokemon X and Y, if you run into a horde of Zangoose, there will always be one Seviper. And before attacking the player, the horde Pokemon will always try to knock out the rival Pokemon first. Which is a cool detail because these two Pokemon are rivals. Seviper. Even though Seviper and Zangoose are mortal rivals, they are able to breed. Lunatone. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, if you talk to this old man in the Hanna Desert while having a Lunatone or his counterpart Solrock in your party, the old man will recollect a lost memory and give you a Moonstone or a Sunstone depending on the Pokemon you have, and then fly up into the sky supposedly into outer space, which is pretty mysterious. Solrock. Adding on to the last fact, there was actually an event Solrock and a Lunatone given out that further talked about the old man in the Hanna Desert, hinting that this was his Solrock or Lunatone, depending on which game he played on. Barboach. Barboach was planned to debut in the Pokemon anime in an episode between Solid as a Solrock and Vanity Affair, but the episode ultimately never aired due to an earthquake that occurred in Japan sometime before, and since then the moves Earthquake, Fissure, and Manitude has never appeared in the anime due to their sensitivity. Wishcash. Wishcash is the only Pokemon to ever negate a Master Ball, a Pokeball that's supposed to catch any Pokemon without fail. Corefish. Corefish isn't actually a Hoenn Pokemon, because according to his Pokedex entry, it was originally a foreign Pokemon that was imported as a pet. Which makes me wonder, what region is Corefish and its evolution really from? This probably opens the door for a new form of it in a future game. Crawdon. In the Generation 3 Hoenn games, Crawdon can only learn one damaging Dark type move, which was Knockoff. Baltoy. Baltoy and its evolution are the only second ground type Pokemon that exists. Clay Doll. In the Pokemon anime, there's an ancient clay doll that was sealed away in a giant stone Pokeball. And according to legend, it was an insanely powerful Pokemon. Leap. Despite Leap and his evolution Cradilly having the two types with the most weaknesses, these Pokemon only have four weaknesses in total, with the weaknesses being Fighting, Bug, Steel, and Ice. Cradilly. It is a common misconception that Cradilly's eyes are the patterns on his forehead, but actually its eyes are in the black strip near the bottom of his head. Anorith. Anorith and its evolution Armaldo are the only Pokemon that are weak to water that can have the ability to swift swim. Armaldo. 
due to an error, Armaldo can learn the move Slash twice in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It learns it the first time at level 25, and then a second time at level 34. Feebas. Feebas is probably the rarest Pokemon in the Duration 3 games, because it only appears in 6 tiles out of the 436 water tiles on Route 119. And on Mount Coronet, it only appears in 4 tiles out of the 528 water tiles in that area. And on top of that, it has an encounter rate of only 50%, so the player might not even encounter it on the tile that it appears on. So this Pokemon in these games are just insanely rare. Milotic. Milotic is unexpectedly gigantic, with a height of 20 feet and 4 inches, which is just 3 feet shy of a Rayquaza. Castform. Castform's sunny, rainy, and snowy forms did not have a shiny until a recent Pokemon Go event. Kecleon. Kecleon in the Pokemon Red and Blue Misjudging games was the hardest Pokemon to recruit. The player had to be level 90 or higher while holding a friend bow to give it a mere 0.1% recruitment rate, which was a 1 in 1000 chance. Shuppet. There's a theory that Shuppets are born when a Rotom wears a Reaper Cloth. Bennett. According to his Pokedex entry, Bennets are abandoned plush dolls that come to life to seek the children that threw them away. Duskull. Duskull is dabbing in his Pokemon card. Dusclops. Dusclops shiny colors is probably a reference to the Chochin Abbeg, which is a haunted paper lantern. Tropius. Rather than just bananas, Tropius grows all kinds of fruits around its neck, because according to his Pokedex entry, a Tropius will grow his favorite fruit, so a Tropius could exist with a watermelon around its neck, which would be pretty funny. Chimeco. According to his Pokedex entry, Chimeco can produce seven different cries, which represent the seven notes in music, being the notes A through G. Absol. Absol appears in many locations where a disaster occurs in the Pokemon games. For example, in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, it appears on Route 213, which is near the lake where Team Galactic tried to capture Azel. Another example would be in Pokemon Sun and Moon, in the Tapu Village, which was destroyed years earlier by Tapu Bulu. Why not? In Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, why not can only be found on Mirage Island, which, if you didn't know, is an area that has a 1 in 10,000 chance of appearing if the player has a full party of Pokemon. Snorunt. In the Pokemon anime, it is said that Snorunt brings good fortune to the homes that it visits, and because of this, many poachers try to capture them and sell them to the black market. Glalie. Glalie, the face Pokemon, can't learn me look, while Pokemon like Smoochum can. Sfeel. Sfeel in Pokemon Sword and Shield roll around like a beach ball, which is pretty funny. Cilio. According to his Pokedex entry, Cilio has a tendency of balancing things on its nose, including its pre-evolution's feel. Walrein. Walrein and its pre-evolutions are eight times resistant to ice-type moves due to their type combination and their ability thick fat. Clam Pearl. According to his Pokedex entry, Clam Pearl's pearls can be more than ten times as costly as a Shellless Pearl, which might represent the regular pearls and the big pearls of the Pokemon games. Huntel. Just like Seeking with his Finn and Horn enthusiasts, there are rivalries between the Huntel lovers and the Gorobis lovers, with the two residing on Island B and Island C in the Pokemon anime. Gorobis. Weirdly enough, just like Beautifly, Gorobis also stabs his prey with his long, narrow mouth to drain the prey's fluids. But what Gorobis does that Beautifly doesn't is that it enters his mouth inside the prey's mouth, so it's even deadlier and scarier. Relicanth. Relicanth is the perfect Pokemon, because according to his Pokedex entry, it hasn't changed in 100 million years. So it's basically the cell of Pokemon. Love Disk. Love Disk is a terrible Pokemon, because all of his stats except for his speed are awful. But somehow in the Pokemon anime, Gym Leader Juan managed to defeat Ash's Grovile in battle, even at a type disadvantage, which is pretty hilarious. Bagon. The reason why Bagon's head is so hard is because it continuously jumps off high cliffs hoping that it will fly, which explains why it has the ability Rock Head. Shellgon. For some reason, the Dragon Type Elite 4 member, Drake, has an overleveled Shellgon, with the Shellgon being level 52 when they evolve at level 50. Salamance. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, Ruby was attacked by a wild Salamance that was trying to harm Sapphire, which is why Ruby, or Brennan in the video games, wears a hat, because he got scarred up by the wild Salamance. Veldum. Veldum and his evolutions are the only non-legendary Pokemon that have a catch rate of 3, which is interesting because all the legendary mythical Pokemon also share this catch rate. Matang. Matang is the outcome of two Beldums fusing together, and his evolution Metagross is the outcome of two Matangs fusing together, which means that Metagross is technically four Beldums that have fused together, which ties into why it's a supercomputer Pokemon. Metagross. Metagross has the most shiny appearances in the Pokemon anime, with the wild one appearing in Noodle's Romaine Off, and the other one appearing as Steven's Metagross in the Mega Evolution Special 2. Regirock. Regirock's in-game footprint resembles a Scare Bay as Sacer, a real-life insect that was considered sacred by ancient Egyptians. Regice. 
Red Giant is apparently surprised to touch ice in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Registeel. Registeel's cry in the Pokemon anime sounds like a DJ turntable. Just listen to this. Latias. Latias is one of two Pokemon that has ever had a crush on Ash in the anime, with the other Pokemon being Ash's Bailey. And in this movie, when Latias disguises himself as Bianca, it actually kissed Ash on his cheek. So, Ash's Bayleaf and Serena better watch out. Latios. Latios and his counterpart Latias are supposed to resemble Jets, yet they are slower than Per Ugly, a fat cat. Kyogre. Apparently, Primal Kyogre can fly, because in the Pokemon Generations episode, The Cavern, when Kyogre was awakened, it jumped into the sky and hovered around a tsunami it created. Groudon. Groudon shares the same height as Arbok. Yes, I'm not even kidding. This ancient Goliath is only 11 feet and 6 inches tall. Rayquaza. Despite being one of the strongest Pokemon of all time, Mega Rayquaza has a higher catch rate than a Mantike, a baby fish Pokemon. Jirachi. The three tags of paper that appears on Jirachi's head are based on the Tazuku, which are strips of paper that are used to write wishes down during the Japanese festival Tanabata, also known as the Star Festival. And the reason why Jirachi is only awake for seven days is probably related to the fact that the Star Festival takes place on the seventh day of every seventh lunar month, which is pretty interesting. And finally, Deoxys. Even though Deoxys is a Hoenn Pokemon, it technically first appeared in a Kanto Pokemon game. Because in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, it was distributed as an event Pokemon on August 31st, 2004, which was two and a half weeks before its release in Pokemon Emerald. And there you go, 135 facts about the 135 Hoenn Pokemon. And if you want to help out with the next video for this series, leave a comment down below about the 107 Sinnoh Pokemon. The more screw the fact is, the better. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support me on Patreon, click on the button right here. I spend days, if not weeks, on these videos, and the YouTube algorithms really favor that, so it helps me out a ton. You get to talk to me, and also see sneak peeks of future videos, so there's a lot of cool things that come with being a Patreon. And also, if you want to binge watch my videos, be sure to click on the end card right now and start binging. And yeah, that's all for this video, and I'll see y'all next time. See ya!